Hello, it's Jay again and welcome to another video. So, here's where we left off in the last lesson. We had nearly all the code ready in the update skybox. Now, we do have one more line of code to add to this function before it can work. But before we go any further, let's start with Sizemono Develop. What we actually need to do is create a shader and actually create the blended skybox itself. And to do this, you'll need a set of skyboxes. Now, there's plenty available on the Unity Asset Store. But uh, these are from the older version of Unity. However, they'll work just fine for purposes in this video and if you've never used skyboxes before as you can see they're made up of six textures that are in this subfolders here and let's go ahead and create a new folder and let's just name this shaders so we'll come inside we'll create and a new shader so let's have a look yeah we can just use this standard shader and we'll just name this uh, yeah let's just call it skybox blend and if we double click we can open it up same as we can a normal script and first thing we're going to do is get rid of everything so let's delete that now in order to create this shader there is one if I come to my internet browser there's one already created on the unify community wiki so this is the one we're going to use for this video and I'll try and remember to leave a uh, link below but it's easy enough to find and we want this one the top one and we can just copy from here shader skybox slash blended and let's just go down until we get to here after the fallback skybox six sided and let's just copy that we'll come to our shader and we'll paste that in and let's save that off now this is our shader we don't need to do anything to it at the moment so let's just we'll get rid of all this let's downsize everything so now we've created this shader let's come back to our skybox so we'll create and we want if i can see it here we want a new material and we'll just call this skybox blended and then we'll assign that shader to it so as you can see we now have 12 textures available to us and here's the blend look at the moment it's sat in the middle at 0 0.5 we're going to change it between 0 and 1 and we need to assign some textures so let's come to skyboxes and you can use any you like but I'll use the starry night for the purposes of this video so if we if I make this slider a little bit bigger there we go as you can see they've all got a name with back down front left right and up and we just need to assign them to the correct one so the first one front let's come here front then back left right and then up and finally down so that's the first six in place and as you can see here they have a two in front for the next six 
um, we need to assign a sunny skybox so which one to use let's just use the first one and we'll then put these in so that was the up texture um, here we go front and back left right got the up in and finally down so we can collapse all that down now come back to skyboxes there's our blended skybox and let's come to window and lighting now here's where we can actually assign the skybox so let's drag and drop that in and we'll close that down so as you can see mine's set to zero because I'm starting just before dawn if you remember and we'll be in night so there's the night skybox and if we adjust this there we go we can actually see the blend already just by adjusting this slider up and down and now we need to adjust it in code and all we need to do really is come here so the if block for if the day phase is equal to night and we just want to come after this close brackets here and what we need to do is access the render settings dot and we want the skybox dot and we want to set the float so we'll open and close brackets we'll close the line off so we'll come inside the brackets now little speech marks and we want underscore blend so if we come to the shader we can see what we're calling so we're calling the blend and here's the naming convention look underscore blend the views capital B so let's come back and we'll say comma and then we want the skybox blend factor so let's get this into the comments get render for skybox and set the float for the blend so we're adjusting the skybox blend factor and all we're doing is set the blend so the set the float value for the blend and that will then adjust that slider and obviously what we're accessing in order to do that is the render setting skybox so i hope you understand this line again as always if you have any questions please either read up about accessing the render settings on the unity website or leave a comment below and i'll always try my best to answer so let's save that off so we'll come back to the scene so we've created our shader we've created our blended skybox here and we've assigned it so now all that's left is we need to test it out so let's hit play and let's just wait and if you look now you should be able to see the sunny skybox coming through and the starry night one reducing so we'll just watch this for a moment and yes it's getting there now and again you may have to change your values in the script to get the blend speed that you're happy with but as you can see we're nearly fully blended now just the last remnants of the night if we left this for a little while longer it would fully blend but um, you can see it working now and um, now we have a skybox that blends so let's stop there 
and I think we'll leave it here for this video. I'll try and remember to leave the link below for the uh, web page where we get the actual shader code from. And um, we still have a lot more to do in this series, so please stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you next time, and until then, as always, bye for now.